What's up, what's up, America? We back. Another cooking video on our channel, CNS. Oh, lie. Yeah. Baby, say hi to the people. Hi to the people. Hi to the people. So today, uh, quick, fast, easy, and cheap is what we're doing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I lost about almost 80 pounds in the last year, and I turned to the ketogenic diet. Now, you can say what you want to say about it, but for me, uh, life is about consistency. And if you don't have a level of consistency in how you eat, or if you're eating foods you don't really like, you're not going to keep the weight off. This is a way for you to eat what you like, keep the weight off and still live like a cool life some life so when you go to the restaurant or whatever you could be able to order stuff so these ingredients right here from aldi's we're gonna make shrimp and zoodles these ingredients from aldi's they ain't paying me this was actually on special but aldi's does carry a beef broth but it was on special at the local aldi's for about a dollar and change so okay. let's get started aldi's still ain't paying me aldi's still ain't paying me baby so we're gonna take some, if those of you who eat it ketogenically, you know, um, it is mostly a fat-based diet. So you try to get as much good fats in as you can when you're eating this way. So what I do is take about a tablespoon of grass-fed butter, Kerrygold butter, they call it Irish butter. Take a little bit of olive oil. So this is gonna give me quite a bit of the fat that I need to make this very healthy meal something different. Um, so we're going to stick that in there. We're going to take some minced garlic. Throw it in the pan. Yes. Every time I hear that sizzle, I don't know why, but I instantly get out of here. It just makes me smile. You should be happy. You might not necessarily be happy with this particular dish because you might not eat it. Because what I'm sticking in here now is a blend, and you could do this or not do this, is a blend of habaneros and onions and... Uh, and red pepper, so it's a real spice. But that's what you want to do. So we're gonna stick these shrimp in here, get them all spread out, and you can put whatever seasonings you like, but I'm a fan of garlic, I'm a fan of spice. So I put some garlic powder, and I put Old Bay seasoning in it. I season everything, you can season it as much as you like, you can season it as little as you like. So we're gonna get this here thing going. Boom, boom, boom. Let it start frying up, doing this thing. In the meantime, Salud. Starfish and coffee, maple syrup and jam, because it's early, but it's five o'clock somewhere. So in it is a bit of Tennessee moonshine. Ah, apple pie flavored. Apple pie flavored Tennessee moonshine. No sugar. Okay. Meanwhile, while those are doing their thing, we're going to get our zucchini. It's about $1.79. And slice the ends of it. And then slice the middle. And this here cool little contraption from a Comezy, they not paying me either, but it's the coolest thing. Like it does all this. No, they're not. But I tell you what, um, I caught mine and give me a five and they was able to uh, get me together. You know, that way, since Comezy ain't paying me, give me a five in uh, Tennessee, kind of, kind of is. So you put this little, do I have to work? This little contraption here. Where my bowl at? And spin it. I think this is how you do it. Is that how you do it? Okay, I'm getting it, y'all. You might not be spinning right in this particular case. Because uh, I don't hardly ever use this. I just got it. So it's fairly new. Baby, did you show them all the cool stuff that it uh, does while I wrestle with it? Okay. So if you don't have one of these here cool little gadgets, uh, you can always, because I don't use this one that often, I do have a handheld one that I should have held out for you, but I can't find it. It's a little handheld one, it's about $6 that you could get from the store. Or you can slice the zucchini however you want to slice the zucchini. Or you can uh, use spinach or another uh, vegetable because when you eating ketogenically what you want to do is get these seven cups of vegetables in so that's pretty cool right? ain't that though it's real cool once you get the hang of it but when i was first trying to use it it was doing something crazy but this and, and it uses like all of it all the zucchini so this might just be enough for us baby yeah, i think this is enough for us if you even gonna eat it 
Like, you can feed a family of four with these. And these kind of cook oh. down. Maybe what I'll do two. You think? Meanwhile, we're going to stir up our shrimps. Because they getting themselves together. I got them cooking a little slower than normal so I can have time to uh, yeah, not to, smoke up the house. We need to apply smell -o vision on this because this smells incredible. Does it already? Oh, my God. This is like... Now, it might be a little spicy, so you don't have to put your uh, jalapenos and stuff in there if you don't want to. I happen to like spice and jalapenos. So, we'll sit this over here, pick up our little zoom, put this over here. If you want to make more, of course, you can make more. Cut co knife, they ain't paying me either. Okay, because I got to share this with Big Daddy, I'm going to go and take out the seed. Normally, I just kind of slice them like that because um, spice, it, it makes your metabolism go a little faster. And <laughs> so it helps with weight loss as well. And spice is your friend when you do keto because uh, it also you know suppresses your appetite as well. So I'm gonna take out the middles because Cornell is eating it, hopefully he might. Uh, if not, I'll have lunch for tomorrow. So. You see me taking them out for you, baby. You see how much I love you. I appreciate it. Take yeah. all the heat out. So that's where yeah. the fire is. Yeah. So, uh, I happened upon uh, the ketogenic diet because I wanted to, I heard, I read, I watched the magic pill and I wanted to uh, actually help with my uh, thought process. As you can see, my thought process went a little slow. But actually, this diet helps you with memory and other things. And that's what made me do it. And I said, Jesus, if you're going to let me lose some weight too, uh, let me go on and do it. And so I did it. And uh, I've really enjoyed eating ketogenically. My mind is clear. My joints feel like heaven because they're not inflamed anymore. So uh, if this is your choice, then you should do well. Now, it's not a lot of sugar involved. There's no sugar involved. And some folks have a problem with that. I never had a problem with not having sugar. I don't eat desserts, quite frankly. Now, most of the way through, Don toss your little jalapenos in there. Just to get them flavored a little bit. Because I like the crunch when I'm doing it. You don't have to have jalapenos. These are your choices. Uh, but the jalapeno and the spice that I put in there gives it a little bit more flavor and it's kind of more of a, a Cajun, Asian thing because quite frankly, the zucchini really is just uh, a way for you to get vegetables in. So, I'm going to move this because we are almost done with this dish. Already? Uh, already. So, we're going to pour these into the bowl. Now, you don't want, if, if you just want that, that's perfectly fine. But look mm. at all this here mm. goodness that we're going to do. So we're going to deglaze uh, the pan with just maybe a, just a really splash because these will produce a lot of water. You can either use a bit of this to deglaze your pan, which is all fine and good. Or if you got some extra carbs to lose, take a little wine. You can get that wine from Aldi's if you want to, a little white wine, uh, and that'll get all the goodness on there. And again, it'll add some flavor to it. Put that in there, and then some lemon. And that will spruce up the whole flavor of the zucchini noodles. Question. Yes. So you're squeezing that in your hand first. Mm -hmm. Why are you squeezing it so in your hand So the seeds first? can fall in my hand. Oh, the seeds. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can have one of them little squeezer things. I got one. This is another dish I got to wash. I like gadgets in case y'all didn't notice. So, of course, I got that gadget. So, now you have this in here. You're going to throw your zucchini noodles in here. Get them all together. I like seasoning once again. I'm going to put my seasonings on here. I'm going to put the rest of my spice in here. And all this is is pureed jalapenos, habaneros, and onions. And then put a little more of this here uh, Old Bay in it. Or you can use a non-salted type of uh, Cajun seasoning if you want to. Or if you don't like Cajun seasonings, you don't have to put anything in it. This is going to produce water. That's why I didn't deglaze it that much. And it's going to scrape up all of the good, ooey gooey shrimpy goodness that was in this pan from the shrimps cooking. Y'all see that? 
Get up in there, baby. Get up in there so they can see what they got, what I got going on, baby. You got to get up in there. Oh, well, all right then. You okay. little bossy today, but I'm gonna get up in there for you. Get up in there. Yeah, yeah. I say that to you all the time. Though. You, you cooking? Stop. I am cooking. Starfish and coffee. Maple syrup and So now it's coming down a little bit. We want to add in back in our stuff so it can sit and marry itself because these zucchinis do not cook more. All you're really doing is heating them up. You're not cooking them per se. Otherwise, you'll have mush. And so, you let that sit for about two, three minutes just to get itself together so it can all, the lemon can go into the, uh, into the shrimp as well. Then the spice can work its way around. And believe it or not, we are done. It is done. So, again, like I said, look at the water that those zucchini noodles is creating. And the liquid. Now, that's why I spice it up so much because I drink that liquid. Because it's really, really good. It's almost like soup. And like I said, this if you, have, if you use both zucchinis, you could feed a family of four. And in this case, you're only going to feed two. <laughs> Because I'm gonna eat that. I only use one. Baby, you want some? You want some of this here? Shrimpy, noodly goodness. I, mean, I think I took all the noodles though. Let me get you a couple of. <laughs> oh, that wasn't my bowl. I thought that first bowl was my bowl. I, I already had my heart set on us meeting each other. And you we, got, we got to split this in half here, baby. Okay. Now, sometimes when you, when I spiralize, I do kind of cut them down because you get this this issue all the time of the noodles being like really long. But if you're somebody who don't care about that, we can we can eat our noodles until I lift me, baby, like a lady and a tramp. Okay. Who's the lady and who's the tramp? Let me wipe this stuff. Let me so get a good look at a wonderful meal. Made in how long? Ten minutes, maybe. It was ten minutes. Ten, ten whole minutes. Mm -hmm. Now you ready to go? You ready to eat? Mm -hmm. You can have a wonderful libation mm -hmm. to go with it. Did you want to taste it? I do. No, I. Like to taste. You want to taste it for real? I do. I want to taste oh, it. Are we gonna? Okay. Taste baby, good luck. Cause you, you know you don't like hot food, like hot. I don't. I don't. Hot, hot food. I don't Here, you don't need to taste it. I taste it. Mmm. 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 Mm. Spicy, lemony. You're gonna be mad, probably. But it's really good. Again, you can use the spice you want to use. You want me to The cameraman use is gonna have to give him a little bit of Why you gotta get two scripts? I see you there. with the scripts. Do this here. your scripts. Uh -huh. You can do whatever you want to with your scripts. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. He gonna choke in a minute. Mm. Is no. it too spicy for you? No, baby. Yes, I'm in heaven. You in heaven? Mm -hmm. It's a very high protein meal. Um, you are getting two uh, cups of vegetables in with it. You are getting your protein. You can also, uh, if you are trying to up your fat intake, you can also pour a little MCT oil on the top of it just to get your fat up because this is a real low fat kind of meal, uh, which is why I added the oil and the butter. And then if you want some additional MCT oil because you're low on your uh, oil intake, you can do that. So thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe, share. I don't know where the button is. Where's the button? Have a wonderful starfish and coffee, maple syrup and jam day. <laughs> And we look forward to making more videos. If you have any ideas, uh, comment down below and we can cook whatever you want to cook. And if you like a particular dish and you want to know how to make it uh, keto, then I can uh, help you with that. So say bye to the people. Bye to the people. CNS Bow Life. Yeah. <laughs>